Hey everyone, this is Shukesh Banik once again and you are watching Gadgets Portal. In this video, I am going to do some benchmarks along with some harder tests on the new Micromes Canvas 2A110. You must have already seen the unboxing and hands-on video, if not then check the role first. Now as you can see this is a fairly huge device and for the first time users it may be a little bit problematic. You can barely reach to all parts on the screen with your thumb while you are using this phone with one hand but I think after some days of use you can get used to this. Now regarding the performance of the user interface the speed of the device overall is absolutely good there is no lag or hiccup I have ever experienced on this device. The dual core processor inbuilt is doing its job very nicely. Now let me show you the most beautiful thing on this device that is the display. It has got a huge 4.92 inch screen with IPS technology and the resolution is 480 by 854 with 196 ppi which is fairly good for a huge device like this. The display brightness is also very good compared to other devices. I have checked it outdoor and the outdoor visibility is also very good. The colors are almost accurate and the white level is purely white unlike super AMOLED screens and I am actually very very much happy with it. The viewing angles of this display is ok though there is a slight decrease in the brightness as you can see and the good news is that there is no decolorization because this is an IPS display. Now let me show you the demonstration of the sensors on this device and first of all let me show you the proximity sensor. And as you can see the response of the proximity sensor is very very fast, it is almost instantaneous. In fact all the functions on this device is very fast. Now let's check about the light sensor that is the ambient light sensor and as you can see there is no auto brightness control. So you have to manually set the brightness of this device according to your ambience. Now after the full brightness as you can see the screen is just flashing with light. The colors are looking more vibrant and also more attractive but battery may not last very long with this high brightness and in fact I have found that the battery on this device is though of 2000 mAh but the battery performance is not very good. The battery may last only 10 to 12 hours with normal uses and with browsing the internet or watching movies the battery may end up in 3 to 4 hours or less. But in return you are getting a very very colorful and brilliant display. Now let me show you the multi touch on this device. Now you are getting 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 point multi touch and the touch on this device is not that much responsive. Well I am talking about 5 point multi touch, 2 point or 3 point multi touch is not an issue. Most of the applications use only 2 point multi touch so you don't have to worry about it. Now when you apply more than 5 fingers as you can see the fingers also get detected but the previous ones get detached which is not the case on other devices including other MicroMess models. Now let's quickly run some benchmarks and let's get started with the Quadrant standard. Here on the system information you are getting the Android version is 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich and the kernel is 3.0.13. Now here is the CPU it is ARM version 7 and it is clocked at 1001 megahertz and it is obviously a dual core processor which is making this phone super fast. Now the RAM on this device is again very good. It is almost 484,000 kilobyte. Now the display on this device is 480 by 854 that is FWVGA and the refresh rate is only 29.76 Hz. The GPU as you can see is powered via SGX 531 from Imagination Technologies. Here are the sensors on this device, you are getting orientation sensor, 3-axis accelerometer and also the proximity sensor. Now let's start the benchmark. Well you are getting fairly decent 2791 on a 10,000 rupees mobile phone which is really unthinkable from other brands. It has got better score than a lot of other devices including other dual core processor phones. Now let's try the Ninamark 2 benchmark. Well you are getting 26.9 fps which is not excellent but not very bad and it is almost near to the refresh rate of the display. Now I am going to try onto the benchmark on this device. Well,
available on the Antutu benchmark. You are getting 5301, which is available on upper mid range phones. Well, that's all for today. I'll be recording the full in depth review on this phone just after this video. Subscribe and stay connected. And you can also visit my Facebook page, facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the photo samples. So overall, I have just loved this phone because of the very fast response of the user interface and also the very brilliant display. I'll make my final verdict in the in-depth review and try to find out some more cons on this device. So that's all for today. If you have found this video helpful, then like this video, comment here and also share this video with your friends. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.